Hi everyone, I am Eva, and now you're watching World Crypto Center. The crypto journey has been a thing since 2008 when Bitcoin is first introduced. However, it took nearly 10 years people to realize that it has the potential to change the world. With all of its liberties, all of its rises and falls, now we are so accustomed to crypto coins that it can change our daily lives forever. This adaptation didn't happen in a flash, yet it evolved the way some things operate related to the internet. The internet is slowly changing and there is no turning back, it will evolve. In that, the blockchain technology will play the most important role. And in a short period, the internet as we know will be changed forever. This is Web3. Blockchain technology is not a novelty as you might think. It has been 14 years since it was first introduced with Bitcoin, but a lot has changed since then. To simplify, blockchain enables everything to be decentralized. Decentralization means to be free from all the control of governments and organizations. Yeah, it sounds like it is something for smugglers or the gangsters, but it's quite different. In this era of technology and internet, we have all the ability to reach the information in the speed of light. Just one click and you can find a photo of your high school friend or exact location of a cafe. But at what cost? It's not about money, it's about your personal life. If for the convenience you choose to share your location data with Google Maps, we can say you let them to know the places you visit and so they can guess what your favorite food is. What about it? Why it is so important? Well, your data has a value, if not for yourself, for a food company. If a food company knows what you exactly want, they can address you easily. But instead of asking you, they ask it to the companies such as Facebook, Google or the Apple what your favorite food is. And they tell them at a cost. See. Your data has a value. And the centralized companies that you agree to share your data with can sell your data with amazing prices. They also get to know you better and they show you as accordingly. For example, when you say that you will love to have a new TV to your friends. All this happened at the era which is called Web2. When all these social media companies have been introduced with these novelties, such as media on the internet, rather than just text on the web one. You agree to do that because you have no choice. In order to be able to reach the information, you need to agree that. You need to agree that centralized companies will make money on you. And this is what Web3 is believed to solve. By using blockchain technology where everybody is working for the well-being of the system without sacrificing anything, Web3 is decentralized internet. Without someone, or some company to interrupt you. You will be able to directly reach the information, actually anything. As long as there are people in the system, the system will endure and will be kept decentralized. Your information won't be handled in the same way because you will be anonymous in the network as anyone else. If you choose to share your personal data, you may get paid for this instead of companies. Now that our cryptocurrencies are bigger and more advanced than ever and we can see the potential of this happening, 
However, there are some issues that is needed to be addressed. The security of this anonymous system and new laws of the internet and the administrations should be set, but these will be set by users. So we can say that Web3 will democratize the internet. We don't know how we will adapt to this and how Web3 will look like, but be sure the internet will evolve and this will happen faster than you think. Thanks for watching everyone and see you on the next video.